Hello everyone, Jessica here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a whimsical card using stamps from the Simon Says Stamp August Card Kit and a few other supplies that I have. The first thing I'm going to do is make the white picket fence. Simon Says Stamp was pretty clever when making this stamp because the edges are open so you can make it as long as you need very easily. I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink again because I will also be doing some Copic coloring. I ended up stamping this three times so that it stretches from edge to edge on an A2 size card front. Then I can fussy cut out the top portion. I'm stamping the tulip image with the jar. I use the fence piece as a guide and draw a pencil line where the top of the posts are. Then I stamp the tulip bunch four times across that line. I'm focusing the ink on the flowers since you won't see the jar images at all. I also don't make the flowers leveled but offset them just a little bit. That way there isn't a lot of overlap. I decided to color the flowers in rainbow order, but leaving out green since there is so much green already with the leaves and stems. For these, I'm using my lightest color first, then my darkest for the shadows. I'll blend those colors together using a mid-tone or the same light color as before, and add in the darkest color again if it gets too washed out. This seems to work the best for me. I also used a E74 marker for the darkest shade in the yellow tulips. It was an experiment and I really like how that blend turned out. A couple videos ago I said that yellow is a hard color for me and I think every project since then has had some kind of yellow in it. I'm challenging myself. <laughs> I also used several light blues and grays for the sky. I didn't want a plain old white background and I didn't want the blue tulips to blend into the background either. Next I'm going to color the fence. I'm using the same shades of green and coloring between the fence boards and then I use a few warm grays to add definition to the picket fence. The stamp already gives you the areas for shadows. I'm just enhancing those. I also trimmed down the image to the black line instead of leaving a white border on the top. And I also used a long fond dye to cut out the grass and then add more color with a green marker. I used my ATG gun to adhere the fence and then add the grass at the bottom. I die cut the cloud shape with a long fond dye. I also used the cloud die again on white cardstock and inlaid that die cut at the top. Then I stamped the sentiment inside of the die cut clouds which couldn't have fit more perfectly. This stamp is from a past Simon card kit. I'm also going to use a few more from the same set on the inside. I chose a rainbow of colors from Gina K Inc. And the purple sentiment will be covered with an inky antic scratch off sticker that came with the sentiment stamps. That way your recipient has to scratch it off and it makes the card just fun, whimsical, and uh, interactive. And that's it for me. Stay tuned for a few pictures of this card. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You can connect with me on Instagram or email me directly or comment below with any questions you might have about card making. All the products I use today are linked on my blog. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see the latest videos from me. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Meh, meh.